What's an appraisal clause? So-and-so realtor said that I need to do an appraisal clause. Well, I don't understand that. That's cool. Let me explain it to you. Hey, this is Larry Exhaust. You know, one of the things that I do, in addition to pre-approve people to buy a home, I educate them on the process. And one of the questions I get a lot is, what's an appraisal clause? Say you have a house. It's being offered for $900,000. It's a competitive market right now, and people are doing appraisal clauses. They're gonna offer, say, and this is an example, this isn't specific to any one person, house is being offered at $900,000. The buyer offers $100,000 higher, or $1 million on this home, because he wants, to, he wants to buy this home. And he has a $100,000 appraisal clause, all right? So, what that buyer is doing is telling the seller, hey, I am gonna pay $1 million for this home that you asked $900,000 for. And I'm gonna guarantee you up to $100,000 out of my pocket to cover the difference if that appraisal comes in low. All right, so what does that mean? Well, let's look at the perfect scenario. The appraisal comes in and it comes in at $1 million. Comes in at $1 million, the VA will guarantee that loan up to $1 million. So the, the buyer will get a, a million dollar VA loan, no money out of pocket. That's that's the perfect scenario. And I see that a lot. Here's one of the other scenarios where the appraisal comes in at 900,000, $100,000 short. Well, the buyer said, I guarantee that I'm gonna pay up to $100,000 difference between the appraised value and the purchase price. So in this case, the buyer is saying, I'm gonna put $100,000 down. I'm gonna get a VA loan for $900,000 put $100,000 down and I'm a man of my word or a woman of my word and you are gonna get this home bought by me for $1 million. Does that happen? Eh, sometimes. Not as often as you might think in this environment. Another thing is, say the appraisal comes in at $950,000. $50,000 below the purchase price of $1 million. The buyer is going to put a down payment of $50,000 and get a VA loan of $950,000. Together, those equal a million, and the purchase goes for a million. Here's the best situation, though. You offer $1 million, asking price was $900,000. You do a $100,000 appraisal clause, and the appraisal comes in at $1,050,000. Guess what? You're gonna get a loan for $1 million. You're gonna purchase a home for $1 million and you have $50,000 of equity in your home right out the gate. And do you tell the seller that? Nope. You did exactly what you told the seller you are gonna do. I'm gonna buy this home for $1 million. So I have to come in with a $100,000 appraisal clause. I will, but in this case, you don't have to. All right, so those are really four different scenarios using an appraisal clause. Is, does every, is every buyer in this market using an appraisal clause? No, but many of them are. And, and that is how you stay competitive, or one of the ways that you stay competitive in this seller's market is using the appraisal clause. I hope that helps. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'm always here to help. All right, aloha.